Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 11 of arrays. In this video, we will discuss about multidimensional array. So, multidimensional array it is used to display the array values in matrix format. So, a syntax to declare multidimensional array is data type. Array name is equals to new data type of here you can mention number of rows, comma number of columns. Here we need to mention the size of the array. And here syntax to store the value. Syntax to store the value in multidimensional array is array name of array name of row index, comma column index is equals to value. That is the syntax to store the value in multidimensional array. Is it that is used to display the array elements in matrix format. Let us assume this is your array. And I want to store the values in the array in matrix format. Let us assume this is your array. Having two rows and what? Three columns. I have two rows and what? Three columns. Always the index of the array starts from zero. So here, so here two rows are there. So the index is what? Zero and what? One. And here three columns are there. The index is 0, 1 and what 2. So always the index of the array starts from 0 to 0, 0. So here the portion of this array is 0 at row, 0 at column, 0, 0. 0 at row, first column. 0 at row, second column. Here first row, 0 at column. First row, first column. First row, second column. Is it clear? So I want to store the values in the array. Something like this here I will try to store the value as 10, 20 and here what 30. And here I will give 50 and 60. Right? So this is the syntax to store the values in the multidimensional array. So here let us see how to write the program for that. I will try to declare using system. And here I will try to declare one class MDA, multidimensional array. Here I will try to declare the main method, static void main. Now I want to create an array, data type, comma, array name is equals to new data type of new data type of and here I will try to mention the number of rows comma 2 so 2 by 3 matrix 2 rows and 3 columns and I already told you in the, um, the array each and every item can be identified by using index number always the row index starts from 0 and the column index starts from 0 so here I want to store the values in the array here of 0 comma 0 is equal to 10 0 comma 1 2 3 4 5 6 0 comma 1 0 comma 2 1 comma 0 1 comma 1 and here 1 comma 2 I'll try to store the values 10 20 30 40 50 and what 60 so here if you observe clearly I have created one array the size of the array is what two rows here I have two rows and three columns are there so always the index of the array starts from what 0 so two rows this is 0 and this is what 1 and here three columns this is what 0, this is what? 1, this is what? 2. Is it clear? So, this is the portion of what? 0, 0. This is what? 0, 1. This is what? 0, 2. This is what? 1, 0. This is what? 1, 1. This is what? 1, 2. That I want to store the values in the array. Is it clear? So, at the index of 0, 0, I want to store the value what? 10, 0, 1, 20, 0, 2, 30. And here I'll try to store 40, 10, 1150, 1260. So I want to print the values from the array. So here I want to rotate the for loop. Here I will use the concept called nested for loop. This is 0 and this is what 1. When i is equal to 0, I want to rotate the loop how many times? 3 times. When i is equal to 1, I want to rotate the loop how many times? 3 times. When i is equal to 0, I want to print what? 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. So I have to rotate one outer for loop, I have to rotate two times. And inner for loop, I have to rotate three times. So I'll try to use the concept of nested for loop. So for int r, r is equal to 0, r less than, r means row. I'm representing r with the row. r less than or equal to what? Uh, 1. Because two rows are there, 0 and 1. And here I'll try to take one more. Int c, c is equal to 0. C less than or equal to what? Um, three row, three columns are there. So I'll write two, 0, 1 and 2. And I want to print the value. Console dot write off. 
I want to print the value here of R comma what C plus I want to give some space and outside it this I'll try, try to throw the cursor to the next line. This is your output. Are you following? So initially let us see one more time I'll try to explain. This is your array having the values 10 and here 20, here 30 and here 40 and here you have what 50 and here you have 60. This is your array. So the, this array is given to two rows. We have two rows and what three columns are there. Is it clear? So this is the index number we already know. This is 0 and this is what 1. And here the index of the array starts from what 0. This is 1. This is what 2. So initially this is what I will take i and here uh, r, r represents row, c represents column. So initial r is how much? 0, r is 0. So here 0 less than equal to 1, condition is true. So initially c is how much? 0 and here 0 less than equal to 2, condition is true. How the nested for loop will execute? First step initialization, condition, again initialization, condition, statements increment condition statement the inner for loop will get executed if the inner for loop executes successfully then again what increment again condition again initialization once when the inner for loop exit again it will start the increment and again check the condition and again start from initialization always the inner for loop start from initialization so 0 0 it will print which value 10 next is c plus plus c is how much 1 so 1 less than equals to 2 condition is true here of r comma c 0 comma 1 so answer is what 20 it will print 20 next is c plus plus c is how much 2 r is how much 0 so 0 comma 2 it will print 30 again c plus plus c is how much 3 3 less than equals to 2 condition is false so throw the cursor to the next line and again r r is how much 1 and again in, uh, once when the for, for inner for loop exit it again it will start from initialization so again c is how much 0 is it clear so here you can write what 0 less than equals to what 2 condition is true 1 comma 0 print what 40 vice versa this is how you can write the program to for uh, multi-dimensional array is it clear similarly the same program you can write in another manner there is one more syntax is there to declare what multi-dimensional array the syntax is what uh, at the time of declaring the array only you can store the values data type array name is equals new data type of number of rows comma number of columns bracket open here you can mention what row 1 values row 1 values comma here you can mention what row 2 values first row values and what second row values that is one more what syntax to declare what multi-dimensional array there are several syntax are there this is syntax 2 let us see. I'll try to declare the array in the same manner. Here I'll try to open bracket open bracket close. Here I'll try to give row 1 values 10, 20, 30, comma. Here I'll try to give row 2 values 40, 50 and what? 60. This is one more syntax to declare what? Multidimensional array. Press F5, check the output. You get the same output. I hope you understood. Similarly, if you want to read the values from the console, so I want to take the input from the values from the console means you can take what two for loops again same for int r is equal to 0 r less than equal to what number of rows 2 so I will give what 1 0 to 1 right and here I will try to declare what for int c c is equal to 0 c less than equal to what three rows are there so I will give 2 now I will try to read the values from the console console dot write line of here I'll try to print something like this. Year of, year of plus. I'll try to give what year of R plus. I'll try to give what bracket close. So this is string. Whatever you declare in a double quotation, that is what string. String plus R is how much zero. Year of zero plus comma, comma. And here I'll try to give what plus C plus double quote. So this is my statement. The here what I am doing r is of his string. R is what zero. Plus comma is what string. Plus c is what zero. Bracket close. R of zero zero value. I want to print the statement like that. Enter r of zero zero value at the index of zero. 
and I want to store the value in the array. Error of r comma what c is equals to int dot parse of. As we already know by default console dot read line will read the input in the form of what string. So I'll try to convert the string into integer by using int dot parse method. Press sub five. Here you remove these brackets just to cross them. Now press sub five and check the output. Enter error of zero zero value ten, zero one twenty, zero two thirty. One zero forty one one fifty one two sixty. This is your output. This is how you can read the input dynamically from the given array. I hope you understood. Program to read the values dynamically from the given array. This is multi-dimensional array. This is your program. Remaining for loop is I have written four for loops. Two for loops to read the value and store in the array. And two for loops to retrieve and display the value. Hope you understood. This is how you can work with what multi-dimensional array. For more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.